Hi there, I'm the internet's Keith Habersberger, and today I'm gonna show you the very best place to get a burger in Los Angeles. Hey, I'm Garrick, and I am going to be showing you where the best burger is in LA. Hey everybody, I'm Rashawn, and today I'll be showing you where the best burger in LA is, because I know more than anybody. Who knows the most about food? This is Tailgate Debate. This is my shitty car that's locked. Let's go! Welcome to Tailgate Debate, where I, the internet's most notorious glutton, face off against two of my foodie friends in a restaurant recommendation showdown where only one can reign supreme. On today's Tailgate Debate, we're eating burgers. Get the new Try Guys Royal line. You can get it in Royal Red. Royal Blue. Royal Green. And Royal Purple at TryGuys.com. Royal. All right, so today we are taking down some delicious burgers in Los Angeles. I have invited two of my friends, Rashawn and Garrick, to show me where they like to get burgers. Rashawn, she's an amazing comedian and actor in LA. She's been on many, many shows. She's also just a wonderful singer, a great friend, and a great personality. Hey, Keith. Hey, everybody. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Keith, that was such a lovely intro, I feel very welcomed. I think today we're gonna eat real good. I'm excited to show y'all my burger. I think my burger is going to be satisfying. And then my other friend, Garrick, I met him at BuzzFeed, but now he writes on a couple different animated shows. He also has a burger fave in the city. Hey, I'm Garrick Bernard. I uh, love burgers, never say die. It was in somebody's backyard, now it's not, and I love it. It's sure. so hot. It's, it's the <laughs> hottest it's ever been. Lived here my entire life, and I don't know what's making it so hot these days, but. Wasn't there a fire tornado the other day? The fire tornado, sure. I, that's, I mean, that's typical LA. We do that what? all the time. <laughs> That's, That's not the, regular, uh, no! So today, each of us are repping a different burger stand. We're gonna go to my favorite place first, so I'm gonna set it up for you. This is not where you would expect to go get a great burger in LA, because I'm taking us to Yucca's, which is a taco stand. It's in Los Feliz. It mostly makes Yucatan-style tacos and burritos and tortas and that jazz, but they also have this unbelievable, beautiful hamburger or cheeseburger or double or double both. It's incredibly simple. So we are at Yucca's. We all have our Yucca's mm. burger. Let's just give it a smell, everybody. It smelled like a Happy Meal. Yeah, doesn't it kind of smell like a Happy Meal? It does. It smells like the ball pit, but in a positive way. It's like very much like you think a burger would look like on a TV show, like yeah. a cartoon. This feels like the closest to a Krabby Patty that I've seen in <laughs> quite some time. <laughs> yeah, let's dive in. Let's do it. All right. This is, I think this is the most people that I've ever watched me eat before. Um, really? And I'm pretty disgusted <laughs> by it. <laughs> I really like the patty. You know how your mom can make the best like pancakes, even though yeah. you've probably had pancakes from like, you know, the king of pancakes, but you go home mm -hmm. and you're like, man, this is really done right. Every time I eat this burger, I like feel bad every time I bite it because there's one less bite left to eat, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think the condiments, it's just like ketchup, mustard, and mayo. It's very simple, mm -hmm. but the chopped onions and the lettuce, it just like melds together into such a flavorful bite. The ratio of bread to meat to veggies is fantastic. I, I think they're about equal. I mean, no, I was just looking at a cross section. Mine's not toasted on the bottom like yours is, Keith. Oh, mine is hot and sexy on the bottom no, over see, here. Ooh, they now knew they're that cheating. Keith with now, they're, now they're giving Keith the better burger. This burger made me feel like I was back in high school and I was at my like local burger joint. And I had just gotten, like the cast list just went up for Into the Woods and I was not cast as the witch. <laughs> and uh, just still let that linger, but I've got a good burger, so I feel good about myself. What's the prize that comes with this burger? If it was the Yucca Happy Meal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I want it to be like a little Bart Simpson on a skateboard. Mine was always like the little, the little clown from Twisted Metal. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Tooth is his name. It takes you back to your childhood like Ratatouille. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm just a zoom. mouse in Paris. I mean, snub for the Oscar, that one. All right, so Yucca's was delicious. I think I've already proven that my burger choice is the best, but you guys, you know, you're here as well to show yours. So, <laughs> so Garrett, tell us a little bit about where we're going now. All right, we're going to Burgers Never Say Die. I love it. It's great. It's a nice little small burger, just like Yucca's, but better, I would say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
started off, he was just grilling burgers in his backyard. Word of mouth started and he was just like, okay, I'll start inviting people. And he started sending out like an email blast saying like, hey, I'm grilling. And what kind of burger is it? It's a smash burger. So really small and it's like condensed. I'm looking at this burger and it looks pretty damn good. It is like beautifully, wow, these patties are so thin. Damn, the presentation on this thing. Oh, this is a double patty. Wow, holy oh. shit, this is so It's just got these like, crispy layers, check that out. Yeah. It's like, it's just like baked on, on, like baked on both sides. Like I love, I love dude. it so much. All right, let's dive into it, let's do mm. it. Very flavorful in the patty. It almost mm. tastes like a pork sausage to me. This is definitely fried on a grill top. You can taste like the little bit of like oil and fat from the burger just stayed on it to crispen it up a ton. The pickles are great. They give a nice amount of balance for being the only real topping other than the <laughs> onion. Yeah, we don't have any onion on here. We got double layer patty, cheese. Maybe there are some fine onions in here. Uh-huh, there's some, there's some chopped onions on there. I feel like very happy fat. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> your body doesn't even bother to convert this in it, like to now energy. It's like, no, we will need a week to deal with yeah. this. The bun, I'm gonna be honest, is the bun we had the first time was better. Yeah, I like the bun at uh, at Yuka's better. But the meat has such a good hamburger flavor, and the crispy outsides is such a good texture. And it's only crispy because it's extra fatty on that side, but it's so good. This is a summertime burger. Yeah, it just yeah. feels like a, a, a typical like insurance commercial where they have like <laughs> a dude doing like a, you know. Kind of like a cricket wireless commercial. <laughs> He's hanging with your friends. Just eating burgers and then all of a sudden, you know, it's for, you know, life insurance. You're gonna die someday and you're gonna want your kids to be okay. <laughs> wow, that was really good. You know, I think that that uh, I'm not sure yet, I'm not ready to call a winner since we've mm -hmm. only had two. We are going to Monty's to get ourselves a impossible burger. I've been wanting to try Monty's for so long. I live down the street. There is always a line. There is like rain or shine, COVID or not, there is a line down the block. You know, if it tastes good, people are gonna get into it. And like the, I feel like the fear people have with vegan food, one, it's people who are like, I'm vegan, get into it. And it's like, all right, girl, well, you have no personality, so you changed your diet, we get it. F you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy there's so much science dedicated to making fake meat taste delicious. Yes. We're not solving the ozone here. Yeah. Can we at least make a carrot taste like a hot dog? <laughs> what, what if you buy baby hot dogs the way you buy baby carrots? <laughs> <laughs> just like a bag full of water and yeah. hot dogs. They're just a little <laughs> too wet to the Why are so wet? <laughs> Always so wet. Baby carrots are just like soaking wet. Because they've been it's sitting like... in that bag, dude, because they're supposed to be grown carrots and they just chop up grown carrots and oh. say, no, you're a baby now. Wop as carrots. <laughs> I'm gonna make that. You mean of the, of the text of Cardi and of Megan? Of, of Cardi and Megan. Yeah! WP ass carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm taking y'all to Monty's to get a vegan burger, which I know stacked up against, you know, some real cow. It could be a hard uphill battle. As we're driving uphill, and me personally, for impossible or like meat alternatives, if it just tastes right, if it's like put together well, I'm into it. And I, I'm not bothered by the fact that it's not meat. Rashawn, I'm hoping this is as delicious as you're leading us on. This is gonna be the one, Keith. Garrick, I think you guys are gonna be blown away by this burger. I'm telling you, this I'm is the winner right here. <laughs> All right, let's All take right, a look guys. at this burger. We got here a good old Monty burger. I gotta say, this one looks the best out of the three. It definitely is sexy. And look at the caramelized onions. They are brown. Mm -hmm. They are fully caramelized. That's a nice brioche. First, I want to say that this burger kind of looks like it'd be, it could be a burger puppet. Like yeah. Online. It yes. looks like it could talk. Like, hey. Hello, my name is Burger. I love lettuce and my tongue is made of tomato. But I'm gonna yeah. judge this as if it wasn't a vegan burger. I'm just gonna dive mm. in. Just bite it. Oh yeah, that's a good burger, man. Mm -hmm. That is a good burger. I think it's the fake cheese that is sticking out to me the most. Sorry, the pickle is a little like, is really cucumbery, which I don't, I don't hate. I like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> It's okay to say how you feel, Garrett. It's no, okay. I like it. Are they sweet pickles? Is that what's happening here? I'm gonna try a pickle by itself. No, go for it. 
Yeah, they're sweet pickles. That's that's the curveball. I typically don't have sweet pickles on my burger, but I'm I'm into it. I think it's a good. I can literally taste everything. It doesn't taste like grease. No. Mm -hmm. Not that's that true. the the grease was horrible. It was obviously flavorful, mm -hmm. but I'm tasting each individual element. Definitely the most like topping filled burger of the day. We're getting all the stuff. Cheese, tomato, the lettuce. It's not like a big crispy piece of lettuce, but it does the job. This gets points just off of it being guilt free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can take down like three, four of these. And That's what feel I was fine. saying. Like the first time I got it, I just got the single patty, but like after you take a bite, you're like, I could do a double. I could have gone double. Is the biggest burger of the day, which is very funny that it is also the most healthy. I really like the burger. I think the meat is, is fooling me, but the cheese doesn't fool me. That's probably my one drawback with the burger is that I can tell mm -hmm. the cheese isn't real. And for me, whenever I do mm -hmm. get like vegan meat, I get real cheese on it if I'm going cheeseburger. Just like, cheese is the hardest one. It's the hardest thing. But I'm crushing this burger, so I, I can't hate it that much. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> but you crush every burger, Keith, so. Uh, I guess, no, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm also proud that all of us picked burgers that are like simple. If you were to take like your grandma to get a burger, and you know, she's no muss, no fuss, I would take her to any of these places and be like, this mm -hmm. is the burger. It's very uh -huh. simple, not too frou frou. Yeah. You're gonna eat this and feel like you got your money's worth and your fall. Stop trying to elevate burgers. Just let Just them stop. be. Trashy food. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's okay. You put in your burger who clearly wants to do break dancing into ballet class, and you know what? Let yeah. him break dance. Everybody wants to show off how good they are at cooking or how much they studied in the culinary arts school, and it's just like, that's great. But at the end of the day, Frank Ocean, as smart as he is and as beautiful of a lyricist as he is, wrote Justin Bieber songs. Because there's an art in that too, man. You gotta <laughs> simplify it at the end of the day. He said, what do you mean? <laughs> exactly. You wanna say yes, but you mean to say no. Those are complicated, deep lyrics. Yeah. Okay, so we've tried all three burgers, but now it's time for us to choose the best of the best. Who had the best burger place? We're gonna park, get out, sit on our tailgates, and debate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it. Here we go. We all loved Yuka's. It was delicious. But what did you think? Give me a real critique of the Yuka's burger. Oh, it was great. I liked how really small it was. That was like one of my favorite things is that it was like a, a snack. But I really liked the bun on Yuka's burger because it was still very juicy and greasy, but it was just blended into it. The fact that it had ketchup and mustard on it yeah. was kind of a game changer because most people are like one or the other. So, and then we went to Burgers Never Say Die, the place that started in the backyard, but now it is not. Now it is a thriving business. Burgers Never Say Die, yeah. like that was delicious. I thought the meat on that was like, the best beef patty of the day. Yeah. Like the crispy edges. I like the story behind the burger. I think that also like drew me in. Again, the bun wasn't my favorite. If I could take the bun from Yucca and put yeah. it with the meat of that one, that'd be a fire burger. And what'd you think of Monty's? Monty's was great. I love Monty's. I love the guilt-freeness of it. Well, not hurting anything. Except I, for plants. Except for plants. <laughs> and who cares about plants? Right? Nobody cares They're everywhere. about plants? Oh That's my God. You're a burger, you're oh. a burger, you're a burger. Set fire to the Amazon again. There's no, don't, don't do that. There's way more plants than cows. You can't fake the cheese for me. That was probably my one negative of the burger, but I thought it was the most restaurant-style burger of the day. It was actually big, it was very beautiful. Okay, but now it's time to choose our favorite burger place of the day. And so that none of us influence anyone anymore, we're just gonna count to three and yell out your favorite. One, two, three. Yeah, You're gonna never say die. God damn it, I said it. What'd you say? I said Yuka's. I said Yuka's. I said mine. You said yours. I, I, said, I also <laughs> said mine, but I do think mine was the best. <laughs> I know it was, and Rashawn knows it's true. It I, was the best. I'm kidding, no. Uh, I get it. It was like a close tie to me. I like burgers, burgers and they die because I'm biased and I chose my own and I'm selfish, so I don't give a f But I do think it made you, made you feel the most gross and I think burgers should make you feel disgusted. Look, I love the <laughs> Let me just say, all of the burgers to date were delicious and yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. I just thought that the yuccas had the most great things going on at once. Yes. But I do think every burger had something that was better than the other burgers. I mean, it's, I think it was the bun that truly did it for me. I would take the bun from Yucca's, so yeah. the patty from Burgers Never Say Die, and then the vegetables. Oh, yeah, shit. From mine, just shit. That's the fucking mega burger. If anybody wants to do that and just set it up and just like serve it as like 
your own thing in your backyard, that's a million dollar deal right there. <laughs> well, today was great. Thanks so much to Rashawn and Garrick for joining me today. Unfortunately, turns out I am the best when it comes to food and today proved it. I converted Rashawn, thrilled to win my own show. Feels good, <laughs> feels great. Give me the finger. Oh! It is a little crazy that a taco stand won the burger yeah. episode. That's the most LA shit I have ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, if oh, it yeah. was also a dry cleaner, I wouldn't be surprised. Right, yeah. yeah. Come to LA and you think you're going to a restaurant and it's like specializes in one thing. No, they make donuts, yeah. they make burgers, they make pizza, and you can wash your jacket. Yeah. It used to be a button factory and now uh -huh. it's all of these things. <laughs> now it's the set of New Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see some of my friends back for another episode? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, this is Tailgate Debate. I f***ing won. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> Tailgate Debate is brought to you by Keats Chicken Sauce and Keats Haber's Burger Sauce. Get yourself some bottles today. Burger flew around my room, mm -hmm. but you gave. Excuse the fries you made. <laughs> <laughs> Songwriting is easy.